Hi, welcome to eLearning Advocates. My name is Narciso. This is module 3 of Video Editing Online Training Program. And this unit of competency is about adding animations and visual effects to a video. The best way to introduce these Windows Live Movie Maker features is to create a slideshow out of a number of still photos because uh, photos do not move viewing them without animations and visual effects could be boring we again start with a blank project we can also use this button over here to add photos and videos but in this particular example I will add a few photos I click on this and I'll make sure that the folder containing my photos and videos is active which is this one over here click one item and then press shift from your keyboard and then click on the last photo then click open building a movie out of these photos as they are does not uh, produce an exciting project as you will see if I press this play button It wasn't so exciting, was it? So why don't we apply some transitions? We apply transitions before and between photos to create a dramatic switch between photos or videos as the case may be. Click the photo where you want to apply a transition on. Then choose your transition effect by clicking on animations and by choosing from any of these transition effects I'll choose this one over here you can click apply to all if you want that transition effect to uh, be applied to all the photos in your project and let's have a quick preview of our project by clicking on this play button at this point the project looks a bit more exciting you may not want to settle with just one transition effect so feel free to change the transition but I would advise against applying too many different transitions because it could be annoying to your audience most of the time I apply just two different transitions in alternating fashion so I'll click on this photo and try to find another transition this one and I'll click on this photo and find the same transition that I applied earlier this this one and this one transitions are not enough to produce exciting movements for your still photos we also can add panning and zooming effects 
from a cameraman's point of view panning is moving the camera left to right while zooming in is like bringing the camera closer to the subject click on the photo on which you want to apply the animation effect then choose from among these options on this uh, section so I click on this photo let me try this uh, pan up along left click this photo try to find another effect and uh, this one this effect and last one would be this photo with this uh, pan and zoom effect we are almost done with our project the next thing that we're going to do is to apply some visual effects this allows you to play on colors and graphics which are otherwise not found in your original photos so I'll click on the photo where I would apply a visual effect on and then I'll click on visual effects here and then choose from any of these uh, options I'll choose this I'll click on this photo choose another visual effect and then choose this photo and choose this visual effect so are we successful in bringing life to these still photos so we will see by clicking on this very first photo and by clicking on this play button So there you have it, we've applied the transitions, pan and zoom effect, as well as visual effects. Thank you for watching and I hope to see you again in module 4.